Hi everyone and welcome to this short review of the Crockett & Jones Coniston in dark brown grey. Probably one of the most British boots I have ever seen and it's considered a classic, but how good is it really? Let's find out! Welcome back everyone, my name is Kostas, owner of Mishu Academy and the Noble Shoe. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing or leaving a comment after the video. Uh, we mostly discuss in the channel high quality, welted shoes, and today's contender is no different. We're going to talk about the Crockett & Jones uh, Coniston in dark brown grain. Uh, Crockett & Jones as a brand needs no real introduction. Uh, it's iconic old British shoemaker that uh, makes shoes 100% in Northampton in the UK, and it's known for its quality, consistency, and they have some very well-known models such as the Cavendish loafers or the Coniston that is today's review pair. And of course they've been dressing uh, James Bond lately, uh, Daniel Craig, uh, so he has you know some really nice pair of shoes so he can jump off roofs and chase bad guys and you know all the stuff you do when you have welted shoes. We are going to do a quick review of this pair. Uh, it was a great opportunity because it came in for a client and it was my first time actually having some hands-on experience with this particular model and Crockett & Jones's Scotch grain leather. So let's take a closer look. The Coniston is a higher leg derby boot with a, a cap toe. It usually comes on the 325 last which is the same as uh, the loafers, the Cavendish loafers, and you get a choice of four colors and variations of leathers. It is this, of course, the dark brown grain. It also comes in tan Scots grain, but it also comes in two versions of rough out suede in both black and dark brown. It is part of the main collection. Availability is pretty good overall. And it is, of course, storm welted, as you can see here, is very prominent. And it makes it a little bit more waterproof. Overall, the shoes come in a really decent box with a rather large green branded dust bags, both of them. But let's talk about the shoe itself. Uh, it's, it's rather heavy, first of all. Uh, each shoe weighs about 780 grams, so it is substantial. It looks like a high quality boot. It certainly feels like it when you touch it. It's very sturdy and it feels very well built. It's very structured. The leather itself is very nice. Uh, the grain is perfect and I don't know if you can see but it has such nice depth to it. It's great. The last itself is very interesting also because the loafer is a very elegant shoe overall. Uh, well, this is a bit more bulky construction with a storm world and a very thick dinette sole as you can see here. However, it works rather well with a bit more round toe uh, slightly almond toe and a lot of structure especially around the world as I said. Design wise it's not going to win any awards. It's a classic derby boot, British style, excellent for many casual outfits and of course it's dark brown which is extremely versatile and the first thing you think is probably a pair of denim. It will look great with it. The laces themselves also have a bit more, how would you say, a rougher feel to them. And there are also four speed hooks for easier lacing. And there is also, this is very funny, this is a massive pull tab on the back. Uh, it's very well stitched on the back seam. Uh, however, if, if you're one of those people that, you know, you get your trousers stuck on the, on the ankle area, or like around here, it's so well soon that you can actually remove it and, and you will not notice anything. It's actually great. Now the inner lining, as you can see here, it's actually extremely smooth and very well polished. And the only part that is suede is actually the tongue. Stitching is exactly how you could expect from Crockett and Jones, as you can see here. Uh, everything is perfect from the top to the welt. Uh, the storm welt is really good as well. Very nice density of uh, stitching on the welt. And the, the sole, just check out the sole, it's a real tank. And it's, it's quite thick, it feels very resilient, especially 
like the hill area and listen to this sound it's a tank now a quick word on sizing um, I in particular am um, between usually UK 7.5 and, and UK 8 this particular model is UK 8 and a regular fitting Honestly, it feels a little roomy and the same experience I had when I was uh, trying on the Cavendish loafers, which are on the same last. I would consider probably taking half a size down if you generally have a bit narrower foot or you don't plan to use thicker socks or any insole. If you have a wider foot, I would take true to size. But generally, I would consider taking half a size down from your regular UK. The real question is, uh, are they worth it? Now, that's also subjective. If you're looking for something classic, a British boot uh, with scotch green leather that is perfect for everyday casual use or some rougher use, absolutely. Uh, you do pay a premium for the Crockett & Jones name, the brand, and of course that they're made in England and not outsourced somewhere else. Uh, honestly, you don't get a substantially better shoe than if you paid, for example, $300 or $400. However, if you get them, you will be extremely satisfied. I mean, the quality control is there, the leather is great, uh, the presentation is good, the stitching. It's a really nice everyday casual boot that will last you for years with proper care. It uh, can be resold, of course, and I think it's very appealing for someone like the UK or the US market that are really into more casual boots. Now, where to buy them? Of course, you can get them through the official Crockett & Jones website. Uh, unless you are in the US, where you have to get a quote from the New York store, I think, and it actually costs much more than buying from Europe. Or any official retailer, such as me, Menoble Shoe, uh, you can get this particular pair. Of course, sizing and availability varies. Uh, for about $509, uh, including free shipping, which is an excellent price. And all you have to do is just email me and I will leave the email in the description down below. And that was it. Uh, this was the Crockett & Jones Coniston in dark brown Scotch grain leather uh, and storm welted, uh, made in Northampton. Great casual boot. You will be very happy if you end up buying it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, consider giving it a thumbs up so I can continue creating more content. Uh, I would love to interact with you in the comments and let me know if you have it, uh, what's your sizing advice, generally if you're happy with Crockett & Jones, if you find it overpriced or not. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the content and the reviews on the channel. Until next time.